Congratulations! You've just purchased the most revolutionary kitchen appliance of the 90s. We've produced this video to give you a complete understanding of the awesome cooking power you know. Live from Oldham, it's the Horn and Hoof Records podcast video chat show with your host, Danny Barrow. Welcome to the Hard and Hoof Records video podcast chat show. Hello and Hoof uh, with your host Danny Barrett. It's me, it's Danny Barrett from the Crash Mat. So we're all doing for it, shall I right? This week we've got a very, very special celebrity guest. It's Pete Benford and Pete Benford with the delays, everybody. Hey. We've got Hatina <laughs> Turner's here and Tash Potatoes here and the man himself, Mr. Pete Benford's here. How are we doing, folks? How are we doing? You're all right? Very good, mate. Thank oh. you, yeah. Why do we need him here? That's, yeah, he's in the name. We don't need him. We don't need him here. We've got the dinner ladies here. These guys are on the front cover of the new album, so that's, uh, that's the real thing. Tash, are you going to colour in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Don't do anybody else's work, no. Do your own work. I'll try and stay in the lines. Try and stay in the lines as well, please, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abstract. Yeah. <laughs> Kids, but I've got, I'll tell you what, as well, mate, I've got I've got some pencil crayons here as well, if you, you want to do that. Crayons. No, 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 we've no, not. Yeah, yeah, somebody at a clay face at all the actual crayons. But well, we've got pencil crayons there, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, 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 how are we doing, love? You all right? I'm good. I'm, I'm hoping just to get through this without getting injured, like this time anyway. No running this time, yeah. I promise, mate. Yeah. Ellen Taylor's nowhere near us, so you're all all right for that. A bander from the auditorium today, so. Are you looking out for snipers? We're looking out. We've got we've got a, a bulletproof canopy up here, so there's nobody can get you out from the side. We've got vegan sweeties there. If you want a vegan sweet, you thought of everything. Exactly. Of yeah, me. yeah, oh. they are vegan. It says on the box, so you know. I'll trust you. I'll trust, trust you. Well, trust the box. Don't trust me. It says <laughs> it on the box. It's them lying to you, and it's not me. So, Peter, six albums now, Pete. Yeah. Six albums. Yeah. Um, new albums called What's on the Inside must come out. Yeah. So what's on the inside? Uh, wh whatever you are, basically. That's yeah. the whole idea. Kind of inspired by this guy a little bit. He used yeah. to be like a fan of the band. <laughs> yeah. And then they kept seeing him involve into this glamorous persona. <laughs> I thought, he'd be all right in the band. <laughs> Oh, and now I'm not a fan anymore. Eventually, no. everybody in Liverpool ends up in the band. Yeah. You know, eventually. Eventually. This, this, this is his 15 how many, uh, how many dinner ladies have you had now? Oh, God, we've had a lot, yeah. It's got to be over 20. It's not as bad as the fall. It's, 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 <laughs> it's Liverpool's fall. It's about though. 20, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, it's Liverpool's happy yeah. fall. Happy yeah. version. Well, you've had this lot for a long time now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So how's the al how's the new album been going? Is it how's it been it's going been down? It's been good. Yeah, yeah. We're on. It's like this new label called Nine by Nine Records, yeah. um, which is kind of it's not like a punk rock label. It's like an actual label, but right. it's got like a shop. There's like a really good shop called Eighty One Renshaw Street, and, yes. it, and it's and it's uh, so it's really good. Yeah, it's just just nice. So they're it. not not punk at all, really. Uh, or no, just... they have they have kind of all, all sorts of stuff right. on it. But he's like a fellow who knows the vinyl business, so he's got hundreds of vinyl geeks on his mail list. Yeah, yeah. Buy buy stuff, and it's just um, yeah, it's just, just good. And it's just nice. It's like a shop completely run by vinyl geeks, and they're all massive geeks. Yeah. And, and uh, you just go in there, and there's there fellas that, that like virtually live in there. Yeah. Don't even they've even got homes to go to. They just, <laughs> just talk about vinyl. They just know vinyl and, and like or, or, yeah, different pressings and stuff like that. Yeah. I've got I've got the Portuguese pressing of hey, oh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I know those types of guys. I used to be one of those. That was a uh, fun time. <laughs> Um, so right, when did you guys start then? When was because uh, I know we played an anniversary birthday for you guys yeah. in the Invisible Wind Factory a couple yeah. of years ago. Well, that was the tenth. Yeah, yeah. We just started just before the war. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. In Bing the back, Crosby was in the original. In back in white times, yeah. <laughs> Bing Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Pop, 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 pop. That's not punk. <laughs> it's my uh, biggest no, inspiration. Uh, uh, 2008, actually. Right. So, yeah, so 2018 when we did that boss gig in yeah. the yeah. Invisible Wind Factory. That was, yeah, yeah, that was a good gig, that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We enjoyed that. In, in and Scariest stage I've ever been on in my life. Stage, yeah. yeah. I that's, mean, the stage is yeah. between stage and dance floor, it's like seven feet in height. And it was just terrifying going near the edge of that stage because I was worried I was going to fall off. I've that's got a little bit of vertical myself, so you know that's full of uh, Eurovision stuff as we speak. Oh, is it? It's Eurovision next weekend, but there's stuff on all 
the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you. That's it. A lot of it is in have you, have you been able to get onto Eurovision then? Because you guys uh, are from Liverpool. It's I'm offended Liverpool. that we're not on. We should at least be on the, the opening ceremony. Yeah, I like the warm up. Um, <laughs> yeah. The heat in between the when they're actually doing the songs. You guys can come on and play. No, we're going to gate crash it like, like Jabba's got it. You should. You should. That's what we're thinking of doing. <laughs> Watch here, folks, to see if uh, Pete Bedford did crash into Eurovision and start the stage. So, explain to me Kitchen Core. What's Kitchen Core all about? I'll, I'll let someone else speak because I've said... I, I don't it's, your it's your concept. It's your concept. Well, you know, it's just uh, just that thing where, you know, you say, ask someone for a gig, and they go, oh, a uh, punk, pop punk, post punk, skate punk, or whatever. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like 30, it's like the thoughts of 37 different types different of metal. Genre, yeah. of, of metal. Yeah. It's just taking piss out of that, really. Because well, it makes you laugh if you do that to Germany or something. Yeah. It says, kitchen core from the I don't even know what people think. I, I think tell people is. we're a ska punk band, and I don't think we skate and play any ska songs. So, <laughs> you know, that's uh, yeah. that's okay, though, because you're not going too deep into it. So no. you're you're not, not coming yeah. up with stupid 50 different sub genres. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Kitchen Core is now a movement. Did you know oh, this? Is it? Because we played it at the uh, Festival of Leeds last week and that band I, Doris, are playing. Right. And they were tabards as well. Yeah. So we're now claiming it as a movement. There you go, two, yeah. Two bands, that's, that's hey, it. I'm trying two. to get captains out to get take off in the punk rock world. Um, <laughs> I could rock one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And okay. you can go from Liverpool because I got my original one from the Ducks. That, that's appropriate. There you go. For the sailor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, did you, did you do favours? No, sailor? no, no, it's from a shop. Okay, okay. It's from a proper shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a proper shop there. Um, Peter, tell me uh, about Club Biscuits. Why why, why are Orange Club Biscuits your favourite? What, what is it about uh, the Orange Club Biscuit that you like? It just became like a van food. Yeah. You know, oh, right. I, yeah, I, always, yeah, yeah. I always have, like, in, in my little van when we go, like, driving around, I always had yeah. orange clubs and it's become a thing and then it, when it, like, oh, we've not got orange clubs with you, what's going on? So, <laughs> so it just, and then it's just, it's just, just evolved. We should really sort of write to them and get them to Yeah, sponsor yeah, sponsor something. you some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. an advert yeah. for them some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You know, that's why I, I, I've been trying to mention <laughs> these, <laughs> I'm trying to get, you know, free sausage rolls, but people bring them to me, but Greg's, come on, that's... I look forward to the clubs every time. It's better than the gigs. <laughs> <laughs> I do it for clubs. Sometimes you don't even do the gig. We just drive <laughs> down to the club. <laughs> That's how I spend my Sundays. <laughs> That would be a perfect music video for you guys. Just like the specials, Ghost Town, but you're just eating clubs in a car. That'd be brilliant. So, is it just orange, or do you like to go for other flavours? Because I noticed that the blue one's the chocolate one, isn't it? And then the green one's the mint, mint one. So, is, was there another one? Is there another colour? There's a purple one, it's like raisins. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, is yeah, it yeah. just the orange in the. It's in the generally in the just orange. We have, we have been known, you know, yeah, just dabble. occasions to dabble in the mint. Yes. Or the dark side. Yeah. If you go yeah. Is that for when you go to London for the posher gigs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, have, we'll have the mint ones there. Splash out for yeah. those gigs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to all the. We're just having standard orange tonight, folks. Yeah. To have that. <laughs> Where did the idea come from for the Diddle Ladies then? What was it? What was was it? Was there something that happened, or yeah, was it just actually, like? Yeah, actually, it's a true story. My mum was a Diddle Lady. Right. Yeah. Seriously? And then Yonks ago, ages ago. Uh, we were before the start of the band, I was in hospital dead ill, actually. Yeah. Uh, being serious for a minute, and they weren't sure I was going to make it and all that. And my mum used to come on the bus to Liverpool from Witness every day. Right. And she was in about 80. Yeah. So, to, to like, you know, uh, make sure I was all right. And so, uh, I said, because I've been in bands years ago and then never done anything for ages. Yeah. And I said, if I'm gonna, if I get out of this, I'm going to start a band and call it the Dental Ladies. After mum, that's a true story. And then someone said, well, you should get yeah, like ladies in, in, well, yeah, ladies yeah, yeah. in the band. The logical that, next step. That's, 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 that's the true story. Yeah, yeah. So, when did you settle on, like, because you've got a bit of a unique sound in that you've got a, a saxophone. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're not like Scar or, or, or anything like that. You're sort of just you, uh, not standard rock and roll, but you, you, you got to put rock, rock and roll, roll sort of, sort of vibe to it, like yeah. So mm -hmm. what what made you think I'm gonna go with a bit of a saxophone? Flavor? Well, I think I think it's a bit. Originally, it was just just a three, a three piece actually. Right. Uh, but I think it's a bit theatrical our yeah. stuff. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. think I just think like saxophone sort of lends itself to that kind of thing, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we had like x-ray specs, a few bands have yeah, done yeah. it, and that's so, and then I knew, I knew a mate who was a sax player, so he, he guessed it on a few, and then we, then we found out, and yeah. 
like full time. She's buzzing. Um, so it does, it does fit, I think, really. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. How do you guys come up with the dance moves for it? Uh, I steal them. You steal them? Uh, I often watch other um, like pop stars. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I steal them. Pop too and stuff like that. Yeah, and I'll steal them and adapt them and change them a little bit and make them a bit sillier and <laughs> and a bit shitter. Really. Because uh, have you had to like go to a previous dinner ladies and say what were you doing for this one? Oh yeah. Oh, there's like a training camp. Yeah. There is a full up. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. doing like a video yeah. to train people. Oh, okay. well, if you need help filming that, don't worry. <laughs> We've got a green screen. And just sorry, Ashley, yeah. George Lucas, if you can get us the 3D rendered alien backdrops for this green screen through the post pretty quick, please, mate. We've learned how to plug it in now, but we just we need the backdrops for you, from you, mate. So if you can send them for us, pal, that'd be great. We Batteries are running out on it. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, do continue. So, uh, yeah, yeah, if you need uh, if someone to film uh, a, a Pete Bentham orientation video, that'd be amazing. New, welcome to the world of Pete Bentham and the Dinner Ladies. We do have to do a training camp every yeah. time. Yeah. I'm like, I have to yeah. bring people around to my house and just yeah. be, like move the sofa he out does, of the way. He <laughs> does really good videos. To yeah. be fair, like you know when you're learning and then that, and he'll film himself and he'll go through oh, the moves. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, yeah. and when no, the drums is, it, and when it kicks yeah, in, we got like, big kicks. Okay, this is the way where you just groove. Like he explains yeah. every like, top, If you guys come up with your own like, yeah. it's like when we're when especially when the craftsmen are writing a song, we've got like codes for it. So we'll say, right, we do this riff and then we play that bit and then this bit and then you go into the chorus and then we're out. So it becomes like its own little language. Oh, yeah. So have you got your own little language now for the dance? But there definitely is a load of that and I write yeah. them all down. I have a document yeah, yeah. where I write them down so I can so pass that around. Is there a, a language peak for when you guys are writing songs or like are you are you when you're showing the band? Like, uh, originally I wrote, used to just bring stuff, but like, as you know, uh, yeah. Tony and Pete, pretty handy, like, so yeah. sometimes I'll just go in the cracky room and they'll be, they'll be doing something, I've got some fit with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so there's two languages going on yeah. in this yeah. band. And we don't connect at all. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't, and that's actually one of the best bits. Pete's just like, oh, you, you just do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> and we just come up with it. And you've, do got it our, you've got our tomati. Uh, tomati. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah, it's you close. know what I mean. It's close enough to it. Uh, you've got yeah the, the power to sort of do what you you need to to get the songs over. Yeah, exactly. And it, it, that was that a wrestling term. Yes. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of wrestling, but in fact, I steal some moves from wrestlers. Well, see, you know, it's the best place to steal from. Exactly. Because no one's really watching it. <laughs> no except one, for us. Except <laughs> for us, you know. Like, but yeah, the people who do watch it get it, and the people who don't watch it don't have a clue where you stole it from. Exactly. So that's the best place to steal from. They're like copyright. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I'm going to ask you some stupid questions. Oh. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by SD Signs Whitby. If you want signs, use SD Signs Whitby. Surprisingly, but these are stupider ones. So, you walk onto a field, right? It's on the beach, and on one side of the beach is a bit of quicksand, and it's a quiff sinking, right? And that's rockabilly. And on one side is a pot pie hat, and that's scar, and that's sinking. Who do you save? Who do you let drown? <laughs> this is trouble. Let both drown. <laughs> I have a question. I need elaboration. Right. Yeah, well, uh, the, the oh. floor is open to questions. Are we talking Scar Scar or Scar Punk? Uh, we're not. We're talking two tone onwards. We're okay. not talking Jamaican Scar. Okay. We'll leave that on the island where it came from originally, mm -hmm. and we'll say we'll, we'll not. We'll not be mean to you guys will be mean to the white guys doing it. <laughs> now I feel bad if I defend them. I can't pick them now, can I? No, you can't. Totally can't. I'd say rockabilly. Yeah. Because that's the roots of, of, of other things that came after. Yeah. So if you say rockabilly, you can say punk and things that came, came after. Came after that. Yeah. Did punk come after rockabilly then? Well, rock and roll. Well, well, well rock and roll well, stuff. Yeah, like rockabilly was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. In the fifties and that wasn't it? Yeah, I suppose. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what yeah. you mean. Yeah. It's like just the sort of seventies, eighties, what I believe. Yeah. Scene. They've got, like, they've got a double bass. They sing about yeah. girls or, or cars, and everyone's got a quiff. Yeah. And well, then in the eighties, like yeah, out there, like, out there. And, you know, every yeah, song yeah, yeah. sounds exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got scar people who are, you know, happy. 
generally nice people, <laughs> but with them. their songs can be a little bit annoying after <laughs> a few minutes, you know, sometimes. I'm going with Rockabilly as well, but yeah. for a different reason, yeah. because uh, I'm clearly somebody who likes nice hair, and I am envious of their hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't think of much many good hairdos in the Scar community. They all, they've all got hats on. They've all got hats. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They've all got hats and balding headlines. Um, I'm, I'm going to ask you this, but I know the question. You, you guys would be in the kitchen in the DIY pop up shop. Do you, would you be? So, the DIY community, one big big community, inside the middle of the community is a shop. It's like home base or, DI, or BQ, right? It's a, it's a DIY shop. Um, so what aisle would Pete Benjamin and the dinner ladies be on? Would you be in the kitchen serving people, wouldn't you really? I like the pop, like kitchens, like you can look in the cupboards and walk around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, could, um, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever used to do this as a kid? My parents would take me out to like home base and stuff as a fun Sunday. <laughs> like, we're going down to the garden <laughs> centre, do you want to come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's the, well, you know, like if it's like a Trevor Booms or a no-name garden centre sort of thing, <laughs> if it was home base, I'd be like, no, I don't want to go there. <laughs> That's just a bleak, bleak place for, for a, Sunday, a Sunday afternoon. But like, you know, a, 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 a provincial garden centre. Yeah, I'd go yeah. there, you'd get one of them weird lollies that's like white chocolate, but it's on a stick. Oh. It doesn't really taste Me like that. Me and my brother used to go out, if we go out, we'd play hide and seek around like all the aisles and that would be a queue, like we'd be right in the middle of the aisles, <laughs> See, hiding in fun. the baths and stuff like that all, <laughs> just running around while our mum and dad's on the shopping, innit? You know, yeah, what, what aisle do you reckon you guys would be on? I'd say the, uh, the crash mats are on children's wallpaper. <laughs> That's what I have said, I've said wrong. I um, think we're fragmented. We're all on different aisles. Yeah. I, I went to be in that aisle where they have really shit pictures. You know, where people buy pictures oh, for yeah, their houses. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, they're not, they're not classically old shit pictures like the nude couple on the back of a swan. Yeah. They're, not, they're not as good, bad as that. No, but it's, it's like a bad, picture bad. of New York in the rain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, with a sequence I'll in it as well. Now, you've got that in your living room. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I've got it in the shed! It's behind the green screen, Pete! Uh, you yeah, yeah, can take yeah, it over yeah, here today! Yeah. You've won it! I reckon I'm, I, I'm changing it now. I'm going personally. I'm going to be the power tools. Because, power tools? Because you think I'm, you're in the power tools section? Because I'm loud and irritating and I'm, I, I, I yeah. annoy people. That's kind of my entire thing. Right. I, I'm going to jump in the crowd and, and annoy you. Yeah. So... There you go. That's All what right. power tools do to me power on tools. Saturday morning. Yeah. The neighbours. <laughs> shut up, neighbours. Shut up. I'm sick of you. <laughs> You've been annoying me for like six weeks. Power tools and shit pictures. <laughs> I like it. That's uh, it's, uh, it's a strong combination of them. Right, I'm going to play a song now to get you prepared for the hardest question ever. This is the hardest question you will ever be asked by anybody. Uh, so I'm going to play you a little song to get you prepared. Why are you still allowed to play? Oh, you, 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 you can still carry can on in there. Yeah, you can still so pull her okay. in. We're going to have to start that again, though, now. <laughs> Because you're so, six albums deep at this yeah, time, this yeah, point. Yeah. So I think that like, I have a different view to like Pete. I'll have a different answer. Really. Yeah, oh yeah, well yeah, 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 yeah. This is the thing. See, this everyone thinks. Oh, you're in a band. All of you will think the same. 
No, I don't. <laughs> I hope you think differently. And it's always interesting to ask this question to parents because you always get like a, oh, you thought that? All oh, right, I didn't think, oh, I think like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got a response. My favourite one to listen to before yeah. I even join, probably. And also my favourite one to perform. Mm -hmm. So it's double whammy, it's both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abala Caviar, Viva La Caviar. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a tune. Yeah. A great song, if I do say so. <laughs> you are a master. Great song. And also, again, I get to be loud and annoying with a megaphone and shout people. Uh, yeah. What more can you want? And it's aggressive. It's super, yes. it's as angry. <laughs> and I'm an angry person. Excellent work, Pete. What about you? Um, possibly Dead's Not Punk. Yeah. Because, uh, um, like most rock and roll songs are like I oh, hope I die before I get old yeah. and like oh, I want cigarettes and alcohol yeah, so yeah. I thought it'd be funny to write a song about what if you write a song about looking after yourself so so, that, so I, quite, I quite like that which is the message of that song yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know uh, the opposite of the rock and roll cliche <laughs> that's not punk <laughs> yeah well people seem to connect with it don't they because it's like the, everyone buys the t-shirt yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got that t-shirt upstairs that one I've got that one yeah 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 it's a good message yeah Tash what about you um, I'm going I'm quite angry like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like my favourite song is Badgers because it Badger. <laughs> it's just, uh, oh, I just love the anger behind it. It's yeah. on the new album, yeah, yeah. it's great. But we, sorry, what? sorry, I was going to say in terms of performing, yeah. uh, I like work, right? Because I like the bit in the middle where we just do what we want to do yeah. with the march, yeah. just like go metal on stage, just spin around. Accidentally hit the cymbals with the march. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So, yeah, I bet Tony well, loves that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he yeah. never says anything about that ever to you, does he? We never do. says anything like, stop hitting my fucking drums with your mouth. He doesn't mind. No. You'd think he would, but he doesn't seem to care. I think he's in his own world. <laughs> that Badger song is, we, we played it at this, but was, was it, but was it mine or somewhere? One of them punk festivals it's in, one of those in weird Pontins, ones. And, yeah. and it's quite a posh place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was these like older punks, and they would all like clash badges and that. And they had conservative party badges on, so about <laughs> three or four of them, like yeah. next to the specials. So you're not listening to the words when listening to the specials. <laughs> but that was what it was, they don't. That was what it wasn't do. That was what it was about. But you know, Butlin's punk, in it? Butlin's punk. That's that could be Butlin's punk. There is a genre. there is a genre of Butlin's punk, and I don't want to be putting it. And trust me, I've I made up my own genre of Butlin's punk. It's people who say stuff like, "How you doing? You all alright out there?" Anyone who ever says that, you're straight in the genre of Butlin's punk. No, the me. worst though is when they want you to cheer, and then they're like, "You can do better than that." Oh no. God. Yeah, piss, I'm sick of that. Come on. <laughs> just get us to cheer once. <laughs> Someone will, you know that bit where we do takes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we not get into that? <laughs> no, no, go for it, go for it. Uh, it was like one fellow who didn't want to do didn't it. Didn't want to so. do it. Which is fine. And, and that, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, and at the end, I went, oh, it's okay, mate. He's just having a laugh. And then he, he's like written things about it. Like, oh. Really <laughs> Yeah. Just he's now, if he's written, a, so he's written a strongly worded letter to his own PSE about you. Dear, 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 It's totally okay. <laughs> yeah. How dare Pete Bamford and the little ladies make me crouch down <laughs> during their song, Hit Potato? You must. My favourite, Shuri Gagarin. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like, uh, uh, not metaphor, it's a brick. Because I like it when uh, watching the crowd when you throw yes. the bricks at them and people are like, yeah, he's like, oh shit, that's crazy. Every, right, that's my favourite bit again of, of that song because every single time, even though you can tell it's not real, it's foam. They freak out. Yeah. Right. There's like, oh. There's always one or two people in the crowd who just sort of shit. And, oh yeah, no, it's not. There were a couple of gigs though where Anna <coughs> got us some new bricks for a while and they are quite a bit more like yeah, solid yeah. and I did feel bad when they just bounced off people's heads <laughs> it's like oh crap no that's gonna hurt so we've gone yeah, back to the soft one that's Anna for you she's a bit sadistic really at the end of the day Anna she's got a mean streak in her I'm telling you well, she's got a she proper mean streak out. in her she went Nah, that'll be alright. Yeah, exactly, yeah. she's giving it to Slaska, that's fine, yeah, and then throwing it at people as hard as you can. She's evil, you might not think so, she's evil. She is, she is, you gotta watch out for that, Anna, she is an evil one.
What's within? Never ever doubt what it's all about. Cause what's on the inside has to come out. 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 Uh, thank you, the ladies. Thank you very much for coming. Um, it's been wonderful to have you here. Um, what have you got coming up? Have you got any big stuff? Are you guys playing Rebellion again this year? Yeah, we're playing. Yeah. Yeah. Did you play? Yeah. 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 We're playing like the main the ballroom of me. Oh, All right, you're on the bomb. The yeah. big one. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 were you all last year? Did you yeah. uh, did outside stage? Yeah, an outside yeah. outdoor stage with all like Squeeze and Billy Bragg and. Oh, uh, Have you played the same day? We were Gary Newman. Yeah. Gary Newman. Gary yeah. Newman yeah. and Pete Mepper for the dinner. Yeah, yeah. He nicked our dressing room. Was he on before you? No, we Well, we did see him looking around the back a bit. He nicked our dressing room. Well, his people, his people. He yeah. had two dressing rooms, and then we were told, "Oh, can you be out of yours by like noon because Gary's people need it." Oh, he's Gary's got two. People. He's got two. He's got his cars to put somewhere, you know. So yeah. I mean, did you like, see him in a car? Yeah, his friends with all electric. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so he's got to have a special room for him. We let him out. We were generous. <laughs> No, I, we, I, we just went and raided the buffet before he got there instead. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a posh, yeah. posh buffet. It, it was, was a posh buffet, buffet for Gary buffet. Newman. Rock and roll. Are you not at the Gary Newman posh buffet <laughs> stage yet? <laughs> Maybe. So on the seventh album, that's just when that kicks in. Club biscuits, that was all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you wanted. That was all. Hey, on the next ride. time we play with him, because we're doing Bearded Theory Festival, aren't we? All right, that yeah. might have been on by the time you see this. Let's just present him with a, a pack of clubs. Clubs, we have a pack of clubs, yeah. And see if he enjoys that. So this yeah. book, can I take it away with No, we don't. <laughs> Josh, show, the, ca show the cameras what you've done. Oh, the shading on that. Sh the shading and everything, folks. Look at that. <laughs> oh, Outlines and everything. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's, that school year spent well, excellently. <laughs> that, like, in the back of the class, she's going to colour it. Swat. I actually used to pets. do it. Like, my mates thought I was doing uni work like that, and they come over, and I was just colouring it. Just colouring it. I was writing boobies on the calendar. <laughs> I was doing that on that turning it upside down <laughs> Alright yeah, guys, thank you very much for coming in everybody. Uh until next time folks again scam uh, scam. Scam up, scam. Uh, see you later folks, see you in a bit, bye! <laughs> you have been watching the Horn and Hoof Records video podcast chat show. Hello and Hoof with your host. Johnny Barrett, directed and edited by Scottrick Bradley, CEO and Vice President of Horn and Hoof Records, and Rick Fallows, aka Nightheart. Why not email in the show? Hello dot and dot hoof dot at at dot hotmail dot com at email dot com. Tell your friends about the show. Share the show with other people. Tune in next time for another thrilling adventure on the Horn and Hoof Records video podcast chat show. Hello and who?